Oh man. I had to start <laughs> streaming, bud. Let's do it. You did already? Yes, I did hit the start streaming button. Oh no, people can you hear me talking? <laughs> <laughs> Only if you want them to. <laughs> okay, let's see here. I bub, bub, don't. bub. <laughs> man. Uh, okay, man, this is super late. A lot of IRL things just happened today, so... Uh, yeah. Apologies. It's been, it's been, been quite a time. Uh, welcome. This is, this is uh, the live stream time that we're doing right now. So we're gonna we're gonna answer some questions from the community that I've uh, had set up in the Heckin' and Skullgirls Gecker forum, um, in our Heckin' Discord. Also, if you'd like to join our Discord, please exclamation mark D S C R D. We're just gonna talk shop about the game, pretty much. And let's see if I can answer some questions that people have had. Ba -ba 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 -ba. I'll do this on beta because beta. So why not? Um. So let's let's see what are things that can be done so first question we got uh, unfortunately i don't play this character but uh wh what's an optimal misfortune route with head on and what are some good resets and burst baits that i can use on her random rock a uh, random rock i know plays taking the twins plus annie uh if i remember correctly we do we do philia uh i think it's philia annie i don't i think they use d no they use North Knuckle? And then Fuku's M Shadow, I wanna say. Versus the the cat girl. It's dangle. Big old dangle cat girl. Catfish Breed? <gasps> Man, if you only you could choose my team, but this is not one of those times. <laughs> Unfortunately. <laughs> okay, let me also do this real quick. Boop. Alrighty, so. Things that you could use on this Dangle Cat Girl. A lot, a lot of things work on Dangle Cat Girl for burst pace and stuff. But, uh, move, move. Like a lot of resets work and stuff. Let me take that, let me take that off the block after. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Never. Oh no, that's not, that's not the right one. Poop. Do, 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 do. Block tight. Da, 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 da. No. Uh, where was it? Escape. Okay. Never block. I mean, standard burst plates that work on, on Dangle Fortune, you know, that's easy. <laughs> that works if you put them on, at, at, up to height. Oops. It's a little hard though. There you go. And that kind of, those kinds of things resets burst baits. That works. That does work. Hey. A A A A A cross under normally does also work. I mean, generally any kind of reason that you work you can do on the cast just kind of works in fortune. Um, I don't know the optimal misfortune head on, but I'm sure if you hit up the wiki exclamation mark wiki, it's probably on there somewhere. Um, because I haven't I haven't played uh head off fortune in quite some time. Not proficient in this. Uh, let's see. So next question we got going on. But, but, but I would like to see some Eliza resets with C slides assist, assist. If anything, just combos would be fine as well. Um, I mean, it, it works about as much as you'd expect if you were playing Parasol, essentially. So, I mean, not much is inherently different. You just get the high-low mix that you normally would. That's not, not a normal trio. Uh, but... Uh, no. Nope. Douche. Yes. I'll just choose this team when I, whatever the heck. It doesn't particularly matter. So this is from Dan Mist. Uh They want to do bombos with uh, what you call it? Uh, doing the same. 
Boop, boop, boop. I mean, it's it's kind of like you just kind of do this shenanigans. Boop, boop, ba. And just kind of do high lows <laughs> nonsense. You do shit I guess like that. Random rock hello. Well, those shenanigans like, uh, if anything, you could do, do one of these. Do long range confirms. Boosh. Boop, boop, boop. Hello. You know those those kinds of shenanigans. You can do the, that kind of reset. You know. And able to the normal shenanigans that you, you would normally do. Like, sea slide assist just gives you the high low. It's just kind of how that goes. Um, so, yeah. Uh, Bombos. Could probably do long range confirms. Hello. Hey, Ruby. What's up? You jo yeah, you joined right after your question. <laughs> yeah, we could always, you know, look back at it. Yay, bombos! Yay, fifth place for unable seat. That's that's pretty good. Nice, good job. Good stuff, friend. I mean, yeah, I could try to do that. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I could just, I could do that. And just do normal stuff. Um, but yeah. Kind of functions the same way you, you would normally use as parasol. It's just, it's just the high-low. Usually the high-low mix. Or just like, toss it out and do whatever the fuck. That kind of thing. Um, I would personally be doing Bomber if, if I was playing Eliza. But that is just me. Uh, yeah. <laughs> it's a laboratory class. Uh, so let's see what we got. What else do we got here? Uh, what should I do on Val's long, medium, and short distance neutral? Neutral. That's from Villanos. Valentine is an interesting character that uh, kind of benefits from the kind of fireball shenanigans that uh, Heck and Fuqua does. So, like, you know, at any range, honestly, uh, if it were me playing the character, Loket, Loket, I'd be doing this. This is this is my game plan until they decide to come in and then you know when they get short distance you know this one try to come down with a button this try to do some shenanigans right here normally i would say you know just try to go for the long range confirm because then you can do that but hey hey going to confirm reset bombos all that stuff um you kind of want to bait your opponent into making a mistake and just getting them with these. Uh, and then you can confirm with assists or with falling buttons and stuff. Uh, and just doing this, just peppering the opponent is usually pretty good. I would say that's kind of how you play the neutral, uh, generally, aside from, you know, depending on whether the opponent air to air is, which is, you know, this is a good button. That's a decent, that's an okay button for pressure and just going in for that. Um, um, but yeah, like this to contest. Uh, this to contest, those kind of things. If you got an assist, actually using this is pretty good for Akara. Um, so hit this with the assist, kind of cause pressure, that kind of stuff. Uh, run up, crouch meeting kick is actually really good. That's just as a button, even though it's not not totally safe on, on both hits. But like you got the you got the distance poke, which is pretty good. You can usually like confirm off of this. It's pretty decent. Um, but yeah, uh, it's kind of the, like the quick and dirty of it. I've had a Val neutral. Um, if you if you see any VODs on uh, YouTube, watch how um, how Lost Spike uh, how Lost Spike plays. Fourth best Val in the heckin' fourth best. <laughs> yes, 
fourth best player in the game, according to Combo Breaker, and like, you know, uh, the best foul in the video game. Well, unfortunately, it's quit, but you know, uh, that's kind of how you play this dangle character. Um, what else is here? Let me see. Robo resets. That's not exactly a question, um, but I assume they want to just see a couple robo resets. Um, I don't necessarily play this character all too much, but playing this character is pretty dang fun. We got the standard ones, just kind of doing this, but but you could just do that. You know, that's easy. That's super easy. That works on everybody. Uh, with Big Ben, you have to you have to dash dash JLP into the into JMP, uh, but that's that's the easy one. But 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 but. Uh, in the overhead, anything but 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 in the overhead is just a standard reset as well. Uh, this is the one that I developed develop myself because you know why not? This is fun. Whoosh! Yeah, that's a thing. Um, and you can actually combo that, combo to that with assists and stuff. That's, that's a fun reset. <laughs> Ruby's confused. You let me show it again. <laughs> that was off the head. Yes, head uh, head is a left right. Yeah. But but you can do this. This is really easy. Uh, but, 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 but. That's an easy one. But, 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 but. <laughs> That's hitting me. Yeah, I understand. Uh, usually, if you can get anything into a stand medium punch, it's pretty easy. <laughs> Hide that tag. If I can get the heck out of it. You can get a left right off of that, and it's kind of hard to do mid screen, but it's easy to do in the corner. <laughs> yeah, this and the, yeah, of course, yeah. Of course. I mean, yeah. Do this for the side swap. No resets, usually. Kind of how that goes. And rip. Actually, here's something that's kind of underrated, and not most people do. This is actually uh, based on how the opponent texts. Uh, if you just do this, grip, or, or like... Ba, 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 da, da. Easier if I do it this way. Grip. You can actually cross up this way. Depending on how the opponent attacks. It's always good. Blah, 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 blah. Oh, that's a left right off of the. Uh, whatchamacallit? The ground tech. It's always fun. Um, those are a few resets. Uh, just kind of like the standard ones you would do with other characters, but yeah. That kind of thing. Uh, so let's see here. What else we got going on? How does Valentine Excel work? And when should I do orange file resets? What determines how fast? Uh, you can control it. Uh, if you press up while you're doing JHK, she hovers. Uh, she kind of stay, almost like stays in place. Uh, if you press down, you, you fall faster to the ground. Ba, ba, ba. Do, 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 do. We'll do an Excella. Up. Oop. Yeah. So you can control it. Uh, you can also control uh, the way she moves forward or backwards, depending on you know where you're at. Uh, if you super jump and press up, you actually get the most height off of JHK, the helicopter. Uh. Let's see. When does Valent? How does you just gotta just do this in the hair? Just kind of do this. Up rip. Thank you, 
you know, the shenanigans like this. Um, uh, when should I do orange vial resets? That's from Bill uh, by the way. Um, yeah, just do them whenever the heck. Like, whenever you want to just make the opponent suffer. I mean, you, you kind of normally want to go into it because it's hard to... You're playing Street Fighter now, so... And now we're playing Street Fighter. Just kind of do it. Bam. Bam. You know, just kind of do it whenever the heck. So, whatever, you know. Whenever you want to. I, I, I would probably honestly start just going with it immediately. And then just transitioning into purple vial or green. Depending on what you want to do next. But, yeah. That's free aim. Hello. Yes. Um, yeah. How does how to improve in, in oh that was not spelled correctly but this is from Domi Boy how to improve defense against pressure and mixups um you can set up the situations in the lab that's kind of like the best way to do it um so like you know if we have like let's do let me see let's do this we'll do double cool so why not so say so double does the sec. That. That's a normal pressure string that I do uh, against people. So like, there's there's ways around it. That hits the punish. Depending on when you push block, you can actually get a punish pretty easily. Call out immediately. There's there's ways out of this. So it just waits out of the pressure. Um, it all depends on how you, you can set up the, the scenarios in the lab and then kind of improve your defense in that way. But, 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 and see kind of where you're push blocking and how you're approaching to def how you're approaching defense in that way. So like, so push blocking first hit in the string is actually really good for you. Because, you know, push block the first string, the pressure immediately stops. Um, and the assist gets called, which you can punish easily. So, whatever. Um, if you try to push in the middle of that, you kind of get stuck in the pressure. Uh, right in between the uh, Sam Mini kicks right there. It's really bad. So, you saw I kind of didn't go anywhere. Oof, I got stuck there pretty hard. Last hit is pretty decent, but then you have to deal with the assist. Um, which is not awful. You can punish CSS, like whatever, I guess. Um, and there's that. Because Fuqua has options out of that, you know. Set up these scenarios in the lab. You can test your defense that that way. Um, and, you know, this actually helps figure out, like, what, what do you need to do to be able to block effectively? Um, uh, for me, I was a masochist, so I threw my face at people, so I kind of learned on the spot. Um, but not everybody learns that way, so setting up a scenario in the lab and then figuring out ways around it is kind of like your best way to deal with pressure and mix-ups like that. I would say. But 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 Juice gave me a heart emoji, and I like it. Thanks, Juice. Appreciate you. Uh, let's see here. This is from Doc. Uh, how do I practice execution? Rewatching some old VODs, I realized that there's so many instances where I either lost or could have won way earlier if i just didn't drop my combos but it feels like no matter how much time i spend in training mode grinding i can't get it consistent in game speed is so much different from when i'm tapping things out in training mode how do you get combos consistent uh well friend in in the unfortunate news that that, that this is just kind of how it is right um the only way to get consistent is to practice but it depends on the way that you're practicing right right um, and we, and you know, we, we tell you these things, right? Practice in chunks and just do it over again until you feel it right. Kind of the good way also is to practice your confirms. So like if you, if you can randomize when the bot blocks, like hit low, you know, they block it the first time, but then didn't block it the next time. So, you know, it all depends on the way that you're practicing and then and i'm just using beowulf because i play beowulf um 
but yeah if 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 consistency is a problem you need to you, you need to what might help is actually you, you could turn on the bot so like if you if you need some pressure against you to be able to get to that speed quote unquote speed in in the lab you know um you can just turn on the bot uh where, where's my where's my bot sitting how about dubbing action or not dubbing action the cpu right here so put it on nightmare see what the see what the bot does test it out in practicality the bot's gonna do some stuff hey 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 A, A, A. See how the bot reacts. Nice grip, bot. Amazing, come out of there. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god, we started off with a grip. But yeah, if if you need, if if what you need is to actually like for something to kind of react to you to be able to practice that way, turning on the bot can actually help. Um, so you could like quote unquote play a match sort of in that way, even if it's with the CPU on Nightmare, right? Um, but if, if you need like something to react to you, to be able to like get your confirms consistent, that works too. Um, for me, it's, it just, and this is just how the, the way I process things, just practicing the combo myself, but by myself, it's just, hey, 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 hey. and that's just normal. That's like a hard, that is a hard thing. So like just practicing your confirms by just kind of like that for me, that's how, just how I do it, you know? So, I, for me, it just takes a couple times. I try to do it like five to ten times. If it doesn't work out, move on to something else and then hit it back later, you know. Taking breaks also does help. But uh, if it's a speed thing, I think you just need to turn on the bot and just like fight the bot for a bit. You know, put put on infinite health, fight the bot, and see see if you can get it in a quote-unquote live match, right? It's all, it's, all, it's all different. I'd say that's... So it's, I say that's a way to practice execution if you wanna if you want something to fight back at you at the same time. Let's see. Practice my bean vegans. Yeah, gotta practice your bimbas, dude. Practice the be Practice your bread and butters. Oh yeah, there's a there's a lag buffer on the thing. Yeah, um, you could do that too if you wanna get used to online. Yeah, it's in the settings somewhere. Uh, you can turn that up if you want to practice what it's like to be on PS4, quote unquote. Uh, but PS4 is also variable depending on how hot the machine gets, so that's also weird. Um, blah, blah, blah. Next thing, I just need to practice more. I need to I need more practice with new players and not the homies at CCND. At least not yet. Selfish says that. That's fair. Uh, any advanced paramix that you might have? Small pharma asked for that one. Uh, I guess it depends on what you mean by advanced mix, because honestly, I don't I don't use anything advanced until um, they show me that they know how to block basic stuff. So, but, but, but this is a very standard one, you know. Here's another standard one, very easy. Here's another standard one. Side switch overhead, you know. Side switch grip. Easy. Ah, another one that can be. It's also an easy one. You can hit that mid or high, and you can also cancel it. And do that because uh, this into this is a true block string, so you can cancel that into tier and that's decent as a block string and also works as a reset um if you're looking for like tier stuff uh i don't necessarily have the tier stuff you could look at like hydra or divas for that online uh there's like this that i remember penny doing Hey, hey, hey. Hey, 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 hey. I mean, you know, don't depends. Here's something that I would do normally. Oh, 
board? Can I do it? Oh my god. My brain's not working. I can also grip from that. This the grip's really easy. You know, that's that's kind of a thing. Pretty easy. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Yeah, pretty much. This and that, very easy. You can also just like. Shit, and again, second my hand. Also, that just doing a float thing is also pretty easy. Shenanigans. Very easy. That one too. But yeah. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Also this. Or like. Uh, I see Yo-Yo do like this. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Board. Fast falls with the with the heckin' back back spiral. So it's nice. There's a way to up, up, up. trying to get trying to get slide, but yeah, I mean I mostly do the, the basic, the basic nonsense, because that's what works. Uh, otherwise, if you want something "quote unquote" advanced, um, this is what I normally do. Tie low. This is very simple. Most people do not block this, though. <laughs> Most people do not block that because. This end of this is a true hit, and also a true block string. And you can layer it. You can layer the stuff, you know. That kind of thing. Um, but here, at least that's that's kind of the way I approach it. Uh, let's do, let's see, where are we at in questions? I'll do like a couple more, because I, I kind of have to head out for the night. Um, do, 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 do. How do you go about conditioning someone during matches so you can keep the opponent guessing? Ruby Chan? Ru Rubus Chanis? Are you here, Rubus Chanis? Man, do I have the answer for you. Pick Beowulf, because why not? Senor Ruby Chan, you, you want to know how to condition someone? Do this. And with the same thing over and over and over again until they block it, and then you can start another mix. That is conditioning. That is supremely the easiest way, actually. Start doing the same thing. What? Oh man, they blocked that. Oh, look, something different. Do it again. Oh, they oh no, they didn't block it. Oh man. Yeah. <laughs> That was pre-advanced route. True. But yeah, honestly, just doing the same thing over and over again. Um, uh, seeing how the opponent reacts in that way uh, this is the easiest way to conditioning. Um, uh, and sometimes conditioning can only take can take place like once or twice, depending on the loop that you do. Um, looping things is kind of the easiest way to me uh, for conditioning. So, um, Especially if you played someone long enough, um, you, you know that they're going to start off probably further down the layers than they than than they normally would so keep going low until um, yeah keep going low until they block exactly force them to block that that way you know something's actually different pretty much because that way you're telling them to adapt and then you know you can you can do the thing <laughs> But yeah. Okie dokie. What else we got going on? 
I have a light counter hit and it's my first hit of the game, it's better to cash out the extra damage or go for a reset like normal. Uh, so here's the thing with dangle counter hits, right? If we're going to start off with the hit, light counter hit, you know, 300 damage. Light counter hit, 300 damage, right? Normally, you know, 200 damage. So you get 100 damage more. It's kind of the same thing as just doing a normal BNB, so... Except I just added like an extra hit, right? So if I did it a normal BNB without counter hit, I had to do this to make it work. And it was only like what? It's like another 400 damage or something like that. You know? Honestly, if you're doing a light counter hit, light counter hits are kind of worthless. So you might as well just do like a normal BNB. I, the only thing that changes is that your routes change because once you do the counter head we go into we go into quote unquote negative and dizzy um even though it says plus there it's like it's more like 265 on dizzy instead of what would normally be 240. so you yeah, extra buttons the route changes the damage is slightly higher slightly higher um, but like, you might as well just do a bombo. Um, cashing out, in the sense, not exactly the greatest. You might as well just do a reset. You, or you could just do the bombo if you want to. Um, it all depends. If, if you see someone who's just doing, like, crazy, crazy tech and normals, honestly, try to go for the counter hit. Even if you don't know a heavy counter hit combo, you end up doing way more damage. Way more damage. Because then you, if you try to do like a normal combo, like counter hit, it's not exactly a trick, you know? And I'm doing way more damage. Might as well just cash out with a heavy counter hit than you would with a light counter hit. So if you're going to hit with a light counter hit, Reset. You could cash out, but it's not as much more damage as if you were just doing a normal BNB. Like light counter hit, meh, you could be doing more damage. Yeah, that's just just Robert. Let's see. What's a good HCH route for any on mid screen, and how do I better time my anti airs against everyone opponents? That's from Trashine Dangled. No Trashine that's here right now. Uh, and we'll make this the last question because I got I got I got to head out. Uh, Annie, lovely Annie. Uh, let's go to her stage. That's not her stage. Rip. This is beta. Rip. Let's go. Hit you! The heavy counter hit. You wanna you wanna do a heavy counter hit? Wow. Oh, let's let's hit the play again. One more time. Whoop. Well, that's a good HGH. That's a good question. I'll see if you can nail these. If you if you can nail this, like I can nailing this. But but or like even just hitting it. You know, nail this heck. What up, yo yo? If you can nail the this. Into whatever reset, because it is, it is honestly just a lot of damage. Why my Annie is so much worse than all of my other points? Good question. Mm 
<laughs> yeah, I wonder. Yeah, you can link link it into itself. So this is like the kind of like the highest damage starter you could get. Like, that's a lot. Yeah, you could get that, but like that'll be heavy counter hit. But and he's not retailing. True. <laughs> air to air HP ID. <laughs> True. This is probably your, your optimal. Like starter, yeah. Bam, bam, bam. A, A, A. Yeah, that. Pretty much. I mean, it's still kind of wild, honestly. Like, not, none of the nerfs that have actually happened don't affect it anything in reality. Rip. Don't get the micro dash. That reach a little bit See if I can land it. Yeah, yeah. What? Weird. Oh, word, dude. She has some she has some weird confirms, yeah. That's weird about that. But. Boop, boop, boop. Man, I'm trying to, I'm just trying to get the micro dash. Nerfed Annie. Annie's not nerfed. There's nothing wrong with Annie right now. She had like some changes. She's not nerfed.
Make them all poppable. Yeah. There's more other little things, but like that's that's a decent combo you could do mid screen. Uh, yeah. Uh, but if you're anti airs, you just kind of have to figure it out. That's that's just this is all based on feel. So like, you get an anti air with this, and you can even anti air with this because you know the hitbox is kind of crazy. Um, and here with this. Feels good. And here with this. <laughs> kinda, kinda the way things are. Um, let's see. A couple more questions. Unfortunately, I have to leave for the night, so. If you've got any questions right now, speak your piece. Any questions right now, speak your piece. Otherwise, I will end the stream here. Yeah. This is also pretty good. <laughs> Sucks so bad versus P, because Peacock is the privileged character, that's why. So. Why can't I scramble anymore? Understandable. Okay, okay. That's fair. I have a question on any conversions. Okay. With the Fuku Ender. Okay, how to get it more consistent. Okay. That's understandable. On any conversions. What is what is your question on any conversions? I'll take that and I will end the stream. So what's what's your problem with any conversions? I get JMK HP after oh. Uh, that depends on, like, the distance. Uh, or the height, rather. Yeah. If, if you do the max amount of height to where it'll combo. Easy peasy. Yeah, there you go. Uh, and conversions with, um, you mean, uh, like in Crescent? Uh, you cannot convert with L Crescent. That's not a thing because there's not there's not enough hits done. Um, you can convert with M. You can also convert with uh, H Crescent. Uh, but those depend on the kind of combos that you do. Uh, like, for example, if we want to want to convert off a of grab, M Crescent, A A, yeah, that's kind of how that goes. Uh, this and an M Crescent is a conversion. That's one thing. Um, so you can't convert off the Crescents. It just has to be the other ones. Yeah. Yeah. Actually, learned the throw conversion. Yeah. This is this makes it very easy if you use the crescent. Uh, you can also dash up like a pro and try to get the conversion that way. That's also really hard. I get the dash, but you know her dash has been nerfed, so easiest way. Uh, uh, duh, duh, whatever the heck, yeah. Uh, a a hey, conversion. Uh, light punch of North Oklahoma have conversions? I mean, maybe. Uh, I'm not sure why you would want to do that, though, because you, you can't convert. I mean, the most you can do... Man, that has no reach, so... That has no reach. Um, it would work in the corner, um, 
in this case, like this. Yeah, don't like that. Just like it over here. Uh, hey, yeah. Something like that, you know. You know. Well. Help me stream what I do versus any install. It's oppression. Oh no, it's oppression. Oh no, it's a. Oh no, it's. 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 oppression. It's not really all that much oppression, to be honest. Not. At least not anymore. This used to be ridiculous doing this multiple times, but you know, you still got like other things to deal with, like fucking doing this and this. You know, you get that. Um. You don't, honestly don't get that much oppression. I mean, yeah, you pretty much, yeah, you pretty much would do, um, yeah, but, uh, but, uh, yeah, it's still, honestly, still not that much oppression, all things considered, so, like, but, uh, but, uh, I guess you could, you like, it's still, it's still not that much, like, and you kind of lose the bar really fast anyway, so, it's kind of meh, if anything, um, I just wish her install was not as much a joke as it is right now. But it'd be what it'd be, unfortunately. Yeah, honestly, you, you just use, use it for Burning Meter. That makes sense. Yeah. Most optimal any install combo? No one has it. Except for, like, maybe Cloud. But honestly, no one's got it. Yes, I do know that. Yeah, it also depends on how much meter you're gonna use. Yeah, so if you got one bar and you can go into install, like, just not much you can do. Like, like, uh, this is the this is the bombo that I used to do. Yeah, but then you know it gets ruined by the stars now. So that's how that goes. No one's really got the 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 chops were except for cloud so like <laughs> meh um but it's uh ultimately not great so it's uh you don't normally see install combos like that because any by yourself just kind of does the damage if, if the damage was done higher in install or if install was just reworked it would be better i think yeah but that will do it for me tonight. Thank you all for participating and joining me on this heckin' super late night thing. Arg. If you'd like to see more Skull Girls, as always, Skull Girls will be great every Wednesday at 7 p.m. EST. I say 7? 8 p.m. EST. We'll see you all next time. I'm heckin' tired. Bye. <laughs>